As highly regarded as the Moto X may be, it hasn't received a ton of attention from third-party developers. But that doesn't mean you can't hack and mod the crap out of it. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is how to install the exposed framework on your Moto X. As much love as the Moto X has received from the press and, well, practically anyone who has used it, there's one side of the Moto X that's lacking. Compared to other flagships of 2013, the HTC One, Galaxy S4, Note 3, or especially the Nexus 5, the Moto X has not received a ton of love from ROM developers and the like. Maybe that's because the out-of-the-box experience in the Moto X is great to begin with. Or maybe the Moto X simply didn't attract as many developers as others. After all, it only became notably more popular after the $150 off promotion and later permanent price cut. I digress, if you're looking to get a little more out of your Moto X, you're not entirely out of luck. If the status bar icons or other idiosyncrasies of the handheld are driving you nuts, you can fix that in a few relatively simple steps. Namely, by installing the exposed framework. It should solve most of your problems without causing too much trouble. But first, what is exposed framework? To be concise, it's a way to modify your current AOSP or near-stock Android ROM on the fly, something like CyanogenMod or, in this case, even the stock firmware on the Moto X. Install the exposed framework, choose a module that has the tweaks you want or need, make all of the changes, and reboot the device. Many mods can be made immediately without rebooting the phone. Enough about that for now. How do you get this on your Moto X? There are a few things to take care of first. Exposed Framework requires root access, so if you don't have access to the root directory, you will have to gain root. It's smart to perform a backup of any important data before you move forward, so move all of your pictures or any other data off your phone, and if you have ADB installed on your machine, simply plug your Moto X into your computer, open a terminal window, and type the command ADB backup hyphen APK hyphen shared hyphen all hyphen F in the name of the backup, and press enter. This will take several minutes to complete. Once it does, you're ready to gain root access. With the Moto X, this can be done several different ways. The most permanent way, in that it voids your warranty, is to unlock your bootloader by following the instructions on Motorola's online bootloader unlock tool. Doing this will reset the phone to factory settings, but once the bootloader is unlocked, gaining root is much more simple. There are several toolkits and scripts for Windows and Mac. I found XDA user MJ Phillips 1981's Moto X Toolkit for Mac, which works for virtually all Moto X versions, and I downloaded it. If you choose this route, plug your Moto X into the Mac, select the option 1 in the Moto X Toolkit for root menu, and follow the on-screen instructions. The toolkit will install a custom recovery, flash superuser.zip, and reboot. I then restored my backup, I got everything in order, and moved forward. A restore, of course, is optional. If you prefer to preserve your manufacturer warranty, gaining root requires you go through several steps many of which are Windows or Linux only. You must downgrade the firmware on your Moto X to version 4.2.2, run JCase's Rock My Moto to gain root, run Moto WP No Mo to remove write protection, use the Cydia Impactor tool, perform JCase's Slap My Moto root path, then update to Android 4.4 once more. Since I didn't use this method myself, I will drop a link to the Slap My Moto development thread in the comments below. Once you have gained root access, it should be smooth sailing but it's not a bad time to stop and make an Android backup in case something goes awry. Next, you will need the latest Exposed Installer APK, which can be found using the Exposed XDA thread link below, or by navigating to http colon forward slash forward slash dl dot exposed dot info forward slash latest dot apk in Chrome from your Moto X. When the download is complete, install the application and open. In the firmware submenu, select install slash update, reboot, and you should be ready to enjoy the wonders of the exposed framework. So what can you do once it's installed? Install various modules and mod away. After doing a little research last night, I came across Gravity Box for KitKat, but that's just one of the many, many awesome modules. Gravity Box is essentially your one-stop shop for customizing the look of your phone's UI. You can tweak the notification shade, the status bar, the navigation bar or buttons, the quick settings page, and much, much more. The UI of Gravity Box is not unlike a settings menu. Sift through the different submenus, tweak the appearance of all the things you'd like, and reboot. Again, not all tweaks require a reboot, but enabling some features may. So to save yourself some time and some reboots, check through everything the first time around to see what will require a reboot. Personally, I enabled the circle battery indicator with a number reading, hid the alarm clock icon, changed the status bar to a dark gray, and centered the time. 
I shrunk the size of the navigation buttons in landscape mode, made the quick settings page accessible from a swipe down from the top right edge of the display, and added a ton of new quick settings, including a toggle for immersion mode. But this is only the beginning. You can tweak dozens, maybe even hundreds of different settings until your heart is content. My favorite, of course, is the advanced reboot menu, which actually has a shortcut for screen recording, one of the hidden features of KitKat for developers. Have you tried Exposed Framework on your Moto X or other Android devices? What are your favorite mods or modules? Share them in the comments below. That's going to do it. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed it, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and drop a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for a future video. Be sure to click the subscribe button and follow us on all the usual places, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at Casper Tech, and I will see you next time.